Good day, good night, good afternoon, buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas doche. We thank you all for watching all those on Periscope and online. We welcome you again, another Shabbat, and um, we have been studying the book of Revelation. Uh, last week we do Revelation chapter 10, which talks about the little scroll, and today we're going to be doing the two witnesses, and if you want to get a, a glimpse of um, some of the things that we have been studying so far, Revelation 1 to 10, you can look at the the double dot the scripture of truth dot net 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 I'm trying to correct something here because the word spelled incorrectly so it's the scripture of truth dot net let's see if we have it correct now yes this is scripture of truth.net double over that the scripture of truth.net and you go on the video archives and you will see us there you can also go to the scripture of truth.net and look at live broadcast and click watch now and you can watch us live when we are on amen so if you're on your um ipod uh, android phone or you want to go onto the computer you can do that just go to the scripture of truth.net and look for live broadcast and you will see us live amen praise the lord so we're going to go right into it revelation chapter 11 we're going to be looking at the two witnesses a lot of people have um different opinions of what the two witnesses are and so we're going to take care of that by using the bible and the bible only and we always give two or more scriptures here we always said that never make a doctrine on one scripture of two or three to back it up or else you're going to be in serious trouble and so that's what that's our practice here we do the scripture and the scripture only amen hallelujah so we move on revelation chapter 11 and verse 1 it says i was given a reed like a rod and was told go measure the temple because the gentiles will trample on the holy city for 40 and two months the essence of what it is saying but we're gonna do all of these things some word by word verse by verse and get to the picture so he says he's, he got he saw a reed looking like what you see on the on the photo on the right and it's somewhat like a uh, bamboo leaf, bamboo in, 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 in some um, tropical countries. And um, it's looking something like that. So we're going to see what the reed is. It says in Job chapter 40 and verse 1, this is the first scripture, and we have Matthew chapter 11, so we have fulfilled the two witness criteria. It says it's a plant growing in watery places. In Job 40 and verse 21. In Matthew 11, verse 7, Jesus was talking about John the Baptist, I believe, somewhat. And he says, what went he out into the wilderness to see? Because, you know, John the Baptist was in the wilderness or from the wilderness. Or you, did, did you go to see a reed shaken in the wind, so to speak? You know, so he's giving us an idea of what a reed is out there growing in the wilderness uh, and can be shaken by the wind, not by wind of doctrine, but giving us some idea of what it's all about. And it looks something like that, as you can see when it's all prepared and ready and it's a standard of measurement um, somewhat same like how we use the ruler 12 inches uh, the, the standard of measurement that you can kind of estimate what um, certain measurements are so this is it, it's a biblical measure it says in round figures a reed is said to be about six cubics um, there was a greater cubic which was measured from the elbow to the end of the middle finger uh, a little over two feet uh, and the ordinary cubic which was from the elbow to the wrist about 21 inches uh, when you look into the um, dictionary or encyclopedia it will tell you that a cubic is about 18 to 22 inches I usually use the 18 inches um, section of it just so my calculation I can still get a, a rough estimate as to what the measurements are in the scriptures when it, especially when it talks about the sanctuary measurements and so forth so um, so it says that the reed is about six cubics. Now six cubics um, is, um, I multiply six by 18, and I get 108. And then um, for my um, middle school um, friends, they'll do nine times 12, 108. So nine feet, so six cubits, it's nine feet thereabouts, roughly. I think um, 
Goliath, was it? Uh, was about six cubits. Yeah, it was about nine feet. They're about, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, let's see. Okay, all right. Now, it says, a reed is a stem of a tall grass, as you can see on the bottom there. Try to get you some photos so you can see, which was sometimes used in the old days as a measuring tool. While it is usually rather weak, now watch this now, and breaks easily. Mm -hmm. This one is said is like unto a rod. So it's given, it says, no, it's read, but it's like unto a rod. That means it is strong. Now, why was it like unto a rod? Where in the Bible is it spoken of, of a rod somewhere? What is called a rod in the Bible? Let's take a look. In, 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 um, in Psalm 2, it declares, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Isaiah 11 verse 1 says, and they shall come forth a rod. Here we are doing again the two witnesses again. And they shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And we all know, ladies and gentlemen, that this is talking about Yeshua. Amashiach. Amen. It is Yeshua Amashiach. The Lord himself. Amen. Hallelujah. And in Revelation 19 and verse 15, it says that when Yeshua comes on his white horse, which is Revelation 19, we will reach that and discuss that in a few weeks. It says that out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them, here again, with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the rod of God Almighty. So we see that the rod of iron, when Yeshua comes, is going to be coming with judgment. So we see the measurement somewhat, when, he, when, when, when we look further, John is going to measure, um, he's going to measure somewhat and then uh, it's going to be about some some judgment. Don't want to spill the beans. We want you to stay with us. Again, we want to welcome you. Thank you for watching wherever you are around the world. This is the scripture of truth, Kahal Emet. The scripture of truth.net. That's what we are, the scripture of truth.net. Kahal Emet. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this is what we have now. In, 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 in essence, the scripture is saying that um, um, the, um, it looks like I'm, I'm losing um, the symbol here. Let's get it back. Um, we, we are losing, I can see that we are losing the screen. So, let's get back the screen here and get things going here. Give me a few minutes here. So I have technical difficulties. No, what's going on here? Amen. Hallelujah. If it ain't one thing. 